Hi there and welcome back to Pinch of Cooking. Today we're making a simple and fresh basil pesto. For the best quality basil pesto, I highly recommend growing your own basil. Having freshly picked basil really makes a big difference in the flavor of your pesto. I filmed this video for you at the end of last summer and I'm showing it to you now because right now is the perfect time to plant your basil, especially if you live in colder climates like me. I make a lot of pesto each year and at the end of this video, I will show you my trick on how to store it for the winter. I start the process by picking the leaves off the stems and placing them in water. As you can see, there's a lot of dirt and sand on the leaves. And I always like to rinse the leaves several times to get rid of all the dirt. I like to let the leaves sit in the cold water for about a minute, swish them around, and then I change the water. For this batch, I ended up changing the water three times until I was sure that the leaves were sand free. Once your leaves are sand free, Let's assemble our pesto ingredients. The ingredients are simple, and I will have the full list and measurements in the description of the video, so you don't have to memorize. As you can see, I'm not using measuring cups for this, because I like to eyeball it and then taste to see if I have the right balance of ingredients. Add two large cloves of garlic to about two cups of basil, followed by about three tablespoons of pumpkin seeds. Traditional basil pesto is usually made with pine nuts. Some people make it with walnuts, but I have a nut allergy in the family, so pumpkin seeds is a healthy and tasty substitute. One third cup of olive oil, one third cup of grated Parmesan, and if you are avoiding dairy, try using nutritional yeast. It has a very similar taste profile. Juice of one large lemon, a pinch of sea salt, and pulse to combine the ingredients. Keep processing until you have a smooth paste. Once I'm done with all the pesto processing, here's my trick of storing it for the winter. I pour pesto into the ice cube tray, freeze it for a couple of hours, and then just put the cubes into a Ziploc bag. This way I can always defrost exact amount for each recipe. Thank you so much for watching and go plant your basil!